Okay. <laughs> so happy that's over. I hate, like, I like fighting uh, close together because then the nerves are way less. But that big gap, I was just so fucking nervous. Oh. <laughs> well, we are here with the champ. Woo! And still. <laughs> yeah. Um, first off, um, you were in the fight. You had a better view of it. How, how was the fight for you? Was it, was it the fight you trained for? It was. It was definitely the fight I trained for. It was probably like worst case scenario almost. Well, not worst case, but, uh, but um, definitely all the, all the bad positions that we worked in the gym um, pre presented themselves in here and I felt super prepared. So I'm happy. <laughs> um, it was a very close fight. Even though on uh, one judge's scorecard you had a 50-45, I actually scored it three rounds to two for you. Um, Coming into the fifth round, how did you feel the fight was going? Um, I definitely felt like I had the upper hand. I felt like I was, uh, her, her takedowns weren't as much of a threat towards the end, uh, especially the last two rounds. Um, so yeah, I felt, I felt really strong the last couple of rounds and uh, I was pretty sure I won it, but you never know how the judges are gonna score those takedowns. And uh, it, anytime I move backwards, uh, there's always the threat of a judge Johnny's going at for. Oh. Damn, oh. projecting. <laughs> ah. um, yeah, there's, there's always the threat of a judge scoring against you for moving backwards. Um, so yeah, I was I was pretty confident I won, but uh, you never know. Um, you looked. I, I, you didn't look like necessarily like you want to be in the ground, but you look comfortable down there. Would you say this is accurate now? Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it always depends on the opponent. Um, I think I fought uh, grapplers who were a little more slick on the ground, but she's super strong, so that's always a threat. That's usually my advantage is that I'm strong, but I don't really have as much finesse. Um, but now the more that I'm training with people like uh, Jessica Penne and, you know, uh, all the slick people at Alliance like uh, Dom Cruz and, uh, and uh, you know, just like all the amateurs there too, like guys my size. Um, I've just really been able to get used to being in those bad positions and working my way up or reversing them. So, yeah, it's finally showing. <laughs> okay, well, I guess um, I know you just, you know, you just had a great victory. So, what's next? Um, what's next for you? I don't what know. Do you, what do you want? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just happy I won. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to defend my belt again, like. I definitely, I definitely want to get some more wins, um, rack up some more fights, get more experience. Uh, next year, I'd like to fight like four times again. Um, so whoever's available, like come on down. <laughs> uh, I, I was hoping for Mizuki this fight. Hopefully, she'll heal up and I'll be able to fight her. Um, just because she's a really good fighter, I'd like to test myself against her. Um, I think I can make 105, maybe get two belts. So if like. <laughs> Ayaka wants to <laughs> square up. I'd be willing to do that too. Um, so yeah, the uh, I, I feel like I got a lot of options for 2017, and uh, I'm open to whatever. <laughs> how, how comfortable would you be cutting to 105? Um, pretty comfortable. Uh, the day before I was at 118. The day before I cut weight, so yeah, I don't think it'd be an issue. I originally started off with the plan to fight at 105, and then when there wasn't anyone there, I moved up to 115, so I think I, it'd be all right. <laughs> I guess the, maybe the big elephant in the room is, are you going to get the call from the UFC? Do, do, you, do you think, do you understand, I guess, why hasn't it happened? Or do you even know, do you understand? Because it, so, it seems so weird that they would take the number one contender, but not take, away, not take the champ. But the champ just won again, so... Is now just um, is it just a wait and see now? It is. It's a wait and see. Um, whenever I see there's a straw weight booked in the UFC, I uh, make sure no one gets injured. So, <laughs> so I'm definitely open to that option. But uh, until then, I'm just gonna do what I can to get more wins, get more experience. Because there's a lot of tough people in the UFC. I know from experience, and I'm pretty sure if I did get the call, I'd be fighting the top ten at least. So, um, so I'm just gonna make myself ready for that if and when it happens. Awesome, thanks a lot. Hey, thank hey. you. <laughs>